Hi everyone, it's Kevin Snake Plus YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. I'm going to talk about the mid season draft and who Colin will pick up on as well. Now, for those of the main players, welcome back and like, comment. But if you're new to the channel and you're watching this for the first time, welcome and like, comment, and subscribe if you like the videos that I'm making. Now, two players that we picked up, and really crucial, I think, towards um, our list. Now, we picked up Ashley Johnston, who's 193 centimetres, who's a forward, can play behind the ball as well, and can play up on the wing. Now that's crucial for us as well, because if, that's like a sort of like a Darcy Moore type, or like a Will Hoskin Elliott maybe type player that that we do need. Because to be honest, um, you know, when you are a forward, I think that does give us options as well, and I think like why not? Like you got an opportunity now to. To being part of this team, and if you can be part of the team for now on, I don't see why not. Um, you know that there was a that there was definitely you know good to see that type of the style game um, players coming through, but most importantly, I think that with these players now, I think. You, you want to play well now. The second one that I like to say, I, I now play with deep picked up Aiden Beg. Um, he is one ninety seven. Ford Rockman. And he can also play in defence as well. So he can play multiple roles as well. Um, look, we've got Darcy Cameron, who's a forward rock. Um, Brody Grundy's out. So this is another opportunity for us to really, okay, to go, who, who are we going to pick this week? And I think because the way that we're seeing things as well, with the way that we want to play... He has to be the one, I think, that can elevate us into this performance. But, um, I am worried about the whole, um, you know, I think he's in his 20s, so he's got time to develop. I think now I might be a little bit older, but I think if if we can now we got two positions filled up, we can go into draft get Nick Dacos and he he's been killing it, obviously until COVID hit. Um, but having said that, I think we are looking like a team that. At the moment, I reckon it's performing at its peak best. If, if, if I can say that myself, because you see, um, you, you know that um, Will Hoskin now has been, been playing well. Jordan DeGoy played really well and kicked two goals. But you want to see that con consistency throughout the whole team. But I think when you bring these type of players who can play behind the ball and play in the forward line as well, potentially playing on the wing, you know, when you're 193, 197 centimetres and that's your position as well, you can actually see where they're going to um, win the heat outs as well. And... Look, I'm not being nasty in any shape or form about this, but 
Brody God, he doesn't do what Nick Nagnuri does and just gets out at center circle so he can run onto it. Um, it's always in tight, and I think because teams know that as well. Um, but oh, selection is going to be an issue. But other than that, I really do feel like we can perform. And once we perform, I think that it does go a long way for us to win this game. Do I think that we are in in trouble in any shape or form? Look, I think that we are, but I think we do have options as well. Um, Obviously, two players will join the team with COVID. They have to, you know, they they would want to join the the teammates and and that sort of stuff. And but I do I do feel that you're opening up an opportunity for these younger guys to to really, you know, play some good footy. Obviously, I think one of them got injured. I I think it might be Aiden Beg who got injured. I'm pretty sure, I think with the shoulder reconstruction, I'm pretty sure I did hear something about, I think one of the guys that didn't play much footy, but, um, and unfortunately, you know, is out for 12 months, and you can race, you can get that right, uh, get them in the program, and really train As, as much as anything but I do like the options of what we got hopefully this is the right option and way to go about it um, but until then um, it, this game is is online stuff as well and I think that we can do it you know I think with these kids we can try and get no doubt some form in 16th on the ladder at the moment I reckon this is a great opportunity to, to really start winning f- more games and really see the the, the the brighter side of the future of the club um, I think Ashley Johnson will be one of the best players in the competition uh, I know this is a big call but he's, he's, he's really going to excite us fans and especially the Collingwood Army, but I think in the AFL as well. I think you see these kids gonna do something remarkable when we picked up Isaac Crano and John Noble as well. They're gonna become future stars of the club. But until then, I do think that we are an opportunity that we do see this as well. So Look, that's my intake on the mid-season draft for Collingwood. Um, look, like, comment and subscribe. Till next time, go the pies and I'll see you back with another video. Bye.